Let's go. Now, hey guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Today we're going to practice, a, this is what's called the Yellow Pencil Club. We're going to stack up a bunch of boxes. We're going to draw a cool looking robot with his arms waving around. We're going to use foreshortening and shading and size and contrast. We're going to draw two bunnies. We're going to draw the lot bunny looking at the, someone go, aww, log. And then we're going to draw the uh, little Easter bunny. Now, this guy is not zapping the bunny. He's petting the bunny. The robots better go, good bunny. The kids are going, oh, look, he's microwaving the bunny for dinner. That's not funny. Yes, it is. That's kind of funny. All right, well, get your piece of paper, get your name, I get four squares, and let's get, let's get rolling. Draw. Time to draw, my cool artist. Time to draw. We'll put in the middle. All right, so put your pencil, your dot, right about the middle here. Right about the middle, and very light. Let's get four, just real light, because we're going to go outside these squares. But it gives you some kind of a target to shoot for, okay? So, so we'll start up here with one of my levels of drawing. I call these the 99 Club Levels, all right? And this is just level called, I call this the Yellow Pencil Club Level. Every, every uh, lesson online during the school year, September through October, every week we do a different level. Like this I call, this, this, this is the gold pencil level, that using the directions, draw that in 60 seconds. Then here's the yellow pencil level, this is this one. And this is the uh, green pencil level, we're going to practice that in 60 seconds. And it goes on and on, and then we practice more. Here's the uh, orange pencil club level, this guy right here, it's called the orange pencil club level. And I have all these 99, so it practices your skill. Put your finger in the middle. Now the question is, why do I have a timed level? Why do I have a time behind it? Well, I'm trying to get you guys to draw without hesitating to draw instinctually with confidence and with enthusiasm, okay? So it, it goes down to the old ICE acronym. I'm trying to build up, I want to make you into cool artist here, cool. Someone say cool. So I'm trying to build up your drawing instinct, your confidence, and your enthusiasm. So that's why I have these time levels. Okay, now this is the first level. This is called the the yellow pencil club level. All right, the yellow pencil. Now, so we're going to go, not go straight right from the dot right here. I'm going to go uphill following this guideline. See? See, following this guideline. Now, this line right here, this line right here is in direction northeast. A very, very important line. So, right northeast. And then this line right here, this line is in direction northwest over here. That's northwest. See, now put a dot out here. I'm going to put a dot out here. And then out here, put a dot, because I'm going to go, I'm going to draw this behind here. Watch, I'm going to come down to the dot really close. I'm going to draw the next layer. See this? Go out to the dot. Not to the corner, go behind the corner. You guys with me? This is called the Yellow Pencil Club, the first level of 99 levels I want you guys to practice, okay? Now, if you don't get this, um, raise your hand or throw your shoe at Joel or... Stand up and scream. You guys with me here? Are you with me? All right, straight down here. I'm so, look at all these chairs full. You guys all brought friends today. Look at, look, everybody, every chair is full. You guys wave, you guys. Wave. Look at all my artists out here. Fort Wayne Museum of Art. Everybody wave. Like, oh, there's a chair empty. Oh, someone didn't bring a friend. Look at every chair. Is that cool? You guys wave. Say hi, world. Hi. You got look at this. Our whole every room, every every chair is full. I love it, love it, love it. All right, let's get back to business here, and let's draw. Let's draw this this next one. And now the middle line's longer. The middle line's longer. Really far away. And what you're going to do, don't go straight across, go uphill to the right, and go uphill to the left. Say, pop, goes the drawing. Now, there's just two levels. I want to I wanna do another level. I'm going to put another dot out here, put one very close in the middle, put another dot out here, and we're going to draw another level. We'll put another foreshortened square. Now, watch this. From this point here, 
go up. Is this cool? Do you love it? And then turn the corner. Turn the corner, go uphill. And I'm going to go right back behind here. See that? Now this line right here is following this northeast direction we were talking about. See this? And this line is following this direction over here, northwest. See all these lines are going northwest, northwest. These are very important guidelines. This is what professional illustrators use when they're drawing um, backgrounds or characters or scenes to be animated here. Uh, let me see here. Mama, mama, cool person here. Mama, mama. Uh, father, no, that's right. I'm going to have you sit. Son, move your son to the other side, sir. And mom, sit next to your. Here. Uh, have, I'm trying to have mama sit next to your, your son. Okay, there you go. That way you can sit down and relax and draw with them and all together happiness. And I'll, I won't go, hey, come on, man, you're blocking the view. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Did, you. did you guys like the uh, paper puppet animation last hour? Yeah. That? La, la, la. La, la, la. Middle line. Oh, that was beautiful. You guys took my squelch and made it into a beautiful sound. Oh. What was that? It was, it was magical. It was beautiful. Who did that? Really? That was awesome. Where's that coming from? I can't find it. I hear it again! You kids are so scary. You guys are so frightening with your, with your mumbo jumbo singing over there. Please do not pay attention. Please pay no attention to the penguin floating by on the glacier. Please pay no attention to the penguin floating by on the glacier. Oh, look at that. See, I made a little handle so I can hold it up here. Okay. Go up to the right. Go up to the left. This is the, take it, the, the same I just, you know, the, this, this cake right here. Without the frosting is one of the club levels too. So we're just practicing these three levels. Three levels. Practicing. Now on this one, let's put shading down the side. The yellow pencil club level. Shade down the side up here. And circle this. I don't want you to write ICE. This is our acronym we're shooting for this week. The ICE acronym. And it's a uh, Instinct. I'm trying to build your instinct, your confidence, and your enthusiasm. And the way we do this is we, we practice the pencil power, the pencil power club levels. The pencil club levels. The pencil club levels. And this is the level, the yellow level, okay? And here's the yellow. I'm going to turn it sideways. And this is the yellow pencil club level. And I want you to practice drawing this in 60 seconds tonight. And this, you have 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Try to draw that in 60 seconds, okay? So this is what we're practicing here. Boop. So let's shade. Shade. And then I'm going to do cross hatching. This is a great way to shade, too, is you cross hatch it going across. See, I did one single hatch, and now this is cross hatch. I'm crossing the lines. The hatch mark is a line mark. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Now up here, put some more cross hatching. And then now we got to put the shadows. Right? Did you guys write this? Did you write this down here? Right, right. Take these notes. Well, you guys are like college kids now. You're college kids. Show your parents when you go, look, Mom, I took notes. I'm a college kid. Look at this. Take notes. These are really helpful. This will help you out. Pencil club levels, and you'll practice those. And if you send me an email next week, I'll send you a PDF file of this, uh, the pencil club levels. I'm, I'm, I'm working on this chart, which I'm going to write right down right here. Club chart, a 99 level club chart. 
I'm working on this chart so that you guys can have the success level to climb up through. So put the shadow. Someone say shadow. All right, good job on this one. So let's move over to our next. Let's move over to our next drawing. And I feel like drawing some robots. Now we could draw the robot looking like that. Cool looking robot. Let's let's look at some variations of robots, shall we? Uh, here's here's a dark, here's a hamster robot. Look at that. There's the hamster robot, Darth's robot. And oh, here's this is a cool looking robot. Robot, 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 robot. There's one robot. And all I know is it's important to have pencil power. Someone say pencil power. Someone say I'm tired of this cord in my way. Someone say where's the other robot? Someone say aha! You guys are so cool. You guys are so cool. Yeah, we love you. We love you. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm gonna draw the. Uh, a cool robot. Just put two dots. Two dots and square number next square. Put your finger in the middle and put a dot right above your finger and right below your finger. So here we are right away. We're going to practice this shape again. We already drew the box. We're going to take this box and turn it into our next drawing. And we're going to draw a four shortened square. Draw a four shortened square and then um, very lightly, I'm going to block this in first. Very lightly. Let's block it. It doesn't have to be straight up and down, vertical. It can be slanting. It's going to be robots. Look at all the parents drawing. I'm so proud of you. Parents! You guys are all drawing with me. Turn to your parents and say, nice try. I mean, say, nice job. Don't say nice try. Nice try. Yeah. All right. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, parents. Here, let's draw this the robot's eye over here. Now, the eye is on the right side. The eye is over here on the right side, so I'm gonna, the window. So I'm going to put the thickness. You can see some of the bottom. And you see that it goes up the right side. See? The, the robots and bunnies. So the eye is on the right side. So watch over here. Over here, I'm going to draw these two little eyes popping out of here. See that? Pop goes the picture. So look at here. Draw his eyes. And let's uh, define it. Darken in the thickness. So you see these two little eyes. He's looking out. Hey! How you doing today? Fred? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Let's put the contrast shadow back here. It'll make it really dark. Contrast is such a great word. See, contrast, you can write that down. That's a good word, taking notes. But see, dark, the dark object next, the dark object next to the light edge is uh, making it jump out next to the light eyes. Now, I will take my pencil and put a little bit of shading since this is going to be the edge away from the sun. And this is a good spot to use your, your blender. We'll just blend this down. You can use this as a palette. Look, this is, you want to get more pencil on your stomp to blend with. See, just really light. I'm not pushing too hard. Very light. I'm just barely touching it. You see that? That worked. Maybe I'll put up just a little bit of tone between the eyes. Just a little bit. See what I did? You guys see it? Does that make sense? Just a, just a touch. Say detail. I love that detail. Now look at I'm going through the I'm going through the uh, the 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 line. It's okay. I'm gonna draw his arm here. Draw one arm here. And look at I went right through the, the my square line. It's okay. I'll have room down here for the bunnies. It's okay. Now I want this arm to be waving over his head. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have his arm curving up. And I'll put some kind of connecting rod. And then I'll I'll lift his arm up over here. Okay. And then, uh, right here, I think I'll put some kind of a magnetic suction cup. And you could put pinchers if you want to put pinchers. You want to put pinchers? Or a hand, or you could put a suction cup. 
It's not a plunger. It looks like he's a plumber, uh, robot plumber with a plunger. Now I'm going to put a couple connector. Now down here, to, to make this robot really look cool, here, let's put a connector to. Look at the, look at this book right here. You see the cover? I made this alien. Oh, this is one of my scholastic books. Was that printed with scholastic? It's how to draw. You see, look at see little arm, little hands. He's flying. Whoa! Do you guys like that cover? Yeah. Like to look at that guy flying. Yeah, pencil power. There's some cool. This is out of print right now, but it'll be back in uh, bookstores in a couple months. But look at here's a robotic hippo flying. Just cool. All right, so back to the robot here. Let's draw the little the little antenna coming out here at the top. Let's shade this. The sun's over here, so I'm going to shade inside and blend it against light as it goes across. I'm going to shade opposite the sun, so it's darker right here, and I'm going to use my stompy to blend it. Okay, now come down here. I'm going to put this, uh, look at the arms connecting here. Wow. Then I'm going to put a little bit of shading on the elbow. I'm going to shade all the surfaces. Let's use our blending stomp and I'll blend a little bit on the outside of the radar dish arm hand utensil thing. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not sure what to call it. What do you guys want to call that? Is That's supposed to be part, well go ahead, give me an idea. That's an idea. That's totally an idea. Here, put the foreshore in circle. Now look at this. The arms on the left side. So watch the satellite. The arms satellite. Just the hand satellite. This. The, the holes on the left side. You guys see what I did? Do you see that? So I put the thickness on the left. And let's darken this in. You know what? I want to put an ear right here. Let's put an ear coming out. Draw a foreshore in circle. I like uh, this guy. See this guy's ears? This little robot guy, hey, maybe these are guys are friends, right? Hey, how are you? Oh, just fine. Can I borrow some milk? Why? You don't drink milk. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> He's so funny. I made that up. I just, it was a brilliant, wasn't it? A brilliant script. I just made that up just now. It was amazing. Can I borrow milk? No. Oh, that was an awesome story. The power. That's why stories are so important when you guys create your own movies. You've got to have a good storyline. Now, back here, stories like Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar, or Cars, or Bugs Life, or Ants, those are, the, the, those are so important to make the movie mad. Nemo, look at that powerful story. The Disney movies, that, you know, Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and the Beast. Here, put the ear here. You're going to put a thickness. So I did. I drew a guideline, just like the top. This line here is my guideline. And I'll put a thin ear, and then it's going to go right inside the hole. Does that make sense, you guys? See how I did that? Are you guys with me? Do you guys see it? Okay, I got to check online. I got to see how are you guys doing online. This is pretty advanced stuff. I'm throwing some advanced stuff here. How are you guys? Are you guys with me? You like that? Okay. Hey, Miss Stacy, make sure that I turn push to stop record. Okay. You guys, when I'm finished with the class, make sure you start texting me like crazy. Okay. I mean, look at. I'm going to take my phone off of mute. So I'm going to take it off. You, you beat me and call me, whatever. I don't want to forget. I keep forgetting to push to not do that for the record. I want you guys to be able to see this lesson in September, October, November, whenever you want to review it, okay? Now, I am going to push, put uh, one of these lessons on YouTube. Every week I'll put one up there from YouTube, on YouTube. I'll, I'll vote on the favorite so it, you won't have to sign up for my virtual class to see these reviews, um, to see the lessons, one or two of them. But if you want to see a thousand, then of course I'd love you to sign up, but I want to make it accessible for you, okay? All right, now let's shade back here. Let's shade, 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 shade. And then, where is my 
Where's my click eraser? There it is. Oh, I'm loving this. I told you guys I was, I was going to love this one. Do you guys like it? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I erased that. I shouldn't have erased it because I have to draw the back ear. The back ear is going to be smaller, see? You can barely see the, the ear. See, it, it goes right through. It's smaller. It's a little tiny smaller disc. Did you get it? And then you got to shade the bottom. Pop goes the ear nodule. <laughs> and we got to put the shadow, the contrast underneath here. Boy, that's really turning out cool. I like this one. I like that one. So all of it started from warming up with our lining things up. And we look and we lined up the ears, we lined up the eyes. And I'm going to put his other arm back behind here. So I'm going to use the visual logic. Look, I'm going to line up where the other arm goes. The arm's going to come. See, it lines up. The arm's going to curve up the same direction, but it's a little smaller. It's a little shorter than this one. So I'll put the, I'll put the uh, elbow and then curve this this way, opposite, kind of curve in. And I'll make this this arm over here on this side. It's a little smaller. I agree with you. Exactly. I know. That's what I said. I said that. Where's the baby? Where's my baby? Where's baby? Where's Chatterbox? Oh, little baby. Hello, little baby. I'm not a baby. Here, dark inside here, and light as it comes across. Dark down here. Lighter, lighter. Love it, love it. Mom, the dinosaur keeps interrupting. Mom, the teddy bear's beautiful. La, 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 la. Let's hear it. Ah, ha. I love Wally. We got. We got to put a. We got to put a speaker. We got to put a speaker. Draw his mouth. And then, then. Oh my goodness! I forgot. I got to shade all this now. It's gonna be a lot of shading in here. I darken in the edge, and then take your pencil. We got to shade. Did Did anybody go out and get your uh, pencil and your brush? Did, did anybody do that? Did I tell you guys about this already? Did I tell you to get these before you buy anything of my books or my shirts or anything? Did I already tell you that? Did I say that today? Uh, on the last, don't buy any of my books. Don't buy any of my shirts. Don't buy anything from me until you get yourself an awesome pencil. Don't even think about doing the online site membership. You got to get these first. Pay five dollars on a pencil. A mechanical, awesome. P two hundred nine. Get a quick eraser. Get a pack of stumps for three bucks. Get a whole pack of these. Get your brush and get an art art bag. Get a sketchbook. And then when you have all that, then then you'll prove to your parents that you are into it and you are and you do want. Uh, it is worth investing in my drawing books and my online art academy. I don't want you guys getting something. You're just going like, to gather dust on the shelf or just sit there in the digital world and you don't use it. Okay? I have kids at home. I raised four kids. And there's nothing more annoying as a parent than to, at holidays or birthdays. You get them some awesome gift. You think you're going to totally like it, your kids, and they lose interest in 12 minutes. And it just sits there. You know what I'm talking about, right? So hopefully this week will get you so excited about drawing you want to continue with it and practice and practice and practice and practice. And draw and draw and draw. The window's on the right side. Drawing the lifelong skill that you will have for the rest of your life. Once you learn how to draw, you'll never forget. And you'll always be able to draw your 3D. You'll be able to communicate what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're talking about, what you're trying to express with pictures. Okay? Scientists and teachers and illustrators and animators and movie directors, fashion designers, they all have to have a, a, a solid foundation in drawing. And you guys, I mean, now here's a new industry that's coming up, robot engineering. You, someone's got to design all those robots, right? Here's an interesting project. Scientists now are drawing, designing the, the 
solar collecting battery floating equatorial station. It's like this 100 mile floating battery solar collecting and it'll power the whole world. And it's just one floating battery that collects it in the, on the equator and it's not powerful for the whole world. And they, the technology, they have the technology now to do it. We do. Our society has it. Now the only problem, the only problem is for this, it's a small problem. We just, they just have to raise about six trillion dollars. Okay, that's all. Okay, it's just a money issue. But they'd have enough power for the whole world. Whoa. Twelve hours a day on the equator, the sun six to six. When I was sailing across the South Pacific with my friends, you get used to six to six, twelve hours. On the, you can look at your watch. It's always six o'clock to six in the morning, six at night. So it's your sun. Okay, look at I love that. Do you love it? All right, let's go on to the next drawing now. Give me thumbs up, thumbs medium. How'd you guys do? Let me see online. Give me a happy face, sad face. How'd you guys like your robot guy? How'd you guys? Thumbs up out here. Let me see. Oh my goodness, I'm getting sad faces up there. And what about you guys? Up or down? Here, you, you guys tell the world. Up or down? Up or down? Up? Up or down? Up or down? Happy face. Give me a uh, online. Happy face or sad face? Oh, sorry, sir. Sad face. Oh, Olivia. Sad face. I got. I'm, I'm three for two. I'm three for two online. All right, maybe we'll have better better results on the bunny, little bunny rabbit. So down here, remember, this one's all about alignment. Remember, we practiced this. Someone say alignment. So we're going to be using the, our, our, that, that reference a lot. So watch what I'm going to do. Let's just take a look at the bunny here. Look at, look at the bunny. Look at the bunny. Look. Now, look at the ears. See the ears? The ears are lined up. This is what, look at, this line right here is what I call direction northwest. Look at the whole bunny bot and the carrot. Look at the body and the carrots lined up in what I call direction north. Wait, that's not northwest. This is northeast. Thanks, parents, for letting me get away with that. Northeast. And this is going to northwest. These are called the drawing direction compass, okay? <coughs> you guys online know you printed up that, that uh, compass a month ago. All right, so we're going to start with a line coming down in direct, just a slight slant, not too steep, okay? I'm looking at this line up here, see? I'm looking at this line. And I'm coming down here, and I'm going to draw the slight, coming down here, slight direction. That's going to be our bunny. All right, so then let's block in the bunny's body. Let's start with his, his bum and his back. The drawing's bum, the bunny's bum. Block in the bunny's face, shape, and then his head is going to be right. I'm going to overlap it. I'm going to shape the bunny's face here. Just scribble, scribble, scribble. Shape. Are you, do you have the shape now? All right. Now I'm going to I'm going to kind of pull it this way a little bit. Kind of clean up, clean up. All right, you got the, the head kind of slanting forward, and not going to have much room down here on the ground. Now watch the ears. I'm going to have the ears droop down. The ears are going to come down. They're going to hit the ground, and then the ears are going to line up. Look at this. This is the near part of the ear, right? It's coming down in front. The ears are going to come down. It's going to hit the ground. It's going to line up in this direction. So let's put a long guideline for both sides of the ear in this direction. This is, this of course is what direction uh, south east. These four directions. This is direction northeast. These are the four most important directions. This is direction southwest. These are the four most important positions that artists can know. This is northwest. Now, this is the drawing compass. We're using them all, the whole compass for this bunny rabbit. See, drawing compass. Pretty advanced stuff for you kids. Take your hand and go, oh, yeah. Okay, does this kind of make sense what I'm doing, you guys? See, now we're going to do it again tomorrow. We'll do it again Thursday. We'll do it again Friday. And all of a sudden, Friday, like, oh, this is kindergarten, right? Do it again and again and again. It's okay to do something advanced and then try it again. And don't get frustrated. Just... Keep keep practicing, okay? All right, now watch it. We're going to go up here. Watch. Here's the ear. Look, I'm lining up with the other line. 
when we draw an airplane, the wings are like this. The airplane wings are really tricky. But not if you don't, if you have a good understanding of the drawing compass, it's easy. You got to just line it up. It's all using lines you've already drawn. Line it up. And then back here, look at here's size now. It's one of these Renaissance. Let's use our chart. Do you have your chart handy, guys? Do you have your chart? Let's take your chart. Here's a word called size right here. Draw objects larger to make them appear closer. This little moon mobile right here, see this? This moon mobile, it's large, it gets small as it moves away. Well, the ear gets smaller as it moves away. So look at, it's going hit, to hit the ground and go, look, it's smaller. See that? You see a little peekaboo. Someone say peekaboo. Someone say pop goes the drawing. All right, well, let's clean this up now that we have our bunny. Let's clean it up. We've got our face. We've got a belt. Now is the fun part. Now we just add all the details. Look at the bunny. He's starting to take shape. So I'm going to put his eyes. Let's try his eyes low. Are those eyes too low? You could try the eyes higher. Or you could draw the eyes higher. Which one do you want? These, these, or these? Try the middle. Yeah, how's that good? Do you like that one there? See, the point I was trying to make is the A, it looks disgusting as an alien, and B, uh, you have to experiment. What works? I, you know what? I like it better lower. I think they, it should be lower. What do you think? Is that better? And then, see, just try it. Just experiment. Put the little nose here. Leave a little reflection on the nose. Put the whiskers. The whiskers line up, too, a little bit. And then I'm going to put... Uh, I don't know. Did you like the eyes a little higher? I think they, I think they should be just a little bit higher. Let's split the difference. Put the texture. Let's, let's, let's split the difference. Is that good? Is that perfect? Did I, did I nail it? Put the texture. Someone say texture. See, put your hand on your hair and say texture. Say, pop goes the drawing. Pop goes the picture. You guys, these are so awesome. Bunny rabbit, look. All right, here. Let's uh, let's draw the draw the fur. All right, now here, put the fur. Now back here, look at. Put the shadow back here. Shadow, shadow, shadow. little bunny rabbit. Now take your pencil and you're going to kind of, or your blending stump, you're going to kind of blend it here. You can use your finger too. And then, now his, uh, look at his, his back foot is so big, you don't even see his front foot because the ear is covering it up. But his back, look at his back thumper leg here, boom, boom. And even the foot back here is lined up. See, you can draw the back of his heel, and you can see. I'm going to draw his huge leg. There is his paw. There's, put the fur. The front foot is hidden. Put that texture. See that? And then I'm going to. But a lot of fur, 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 a lot. Oh, here's the tail. A little, you can see the back, little poofy edge of his tail here. There's his, the dino, there's the uh, bunny rabbit's bum. Bob, we just showed the bunny rabbit's butt. And he's wiggling his tail. Okay, what do you guys think? You got, do you like it? You can, his shade underneath here. 
See, see what I did? I had to click my. I ran out of pencil. It. I didn't have to stop and sharp. I just did a big, big. I just went bam. Just clicked it. Love it. I love his mechanical pencils. Shade underneath here. Shade. Shade under the butt. Shade. Shade the under the tail. And then I'll put a little shadow on the ground back here. A little shadow along the along the foot. A little shadow back in here. Really dark back behind there. Put a shadow on the ground. Do you guys like this guy? Then take your finger. You can get the whole bunny a little tone. Sometimes if you don't want to use your... your uh, you're stompy, you can use your finger to blend. Put a shadow over here. I want to make my bunny a little, my ear, give it a little curly te texture. See, I don't want to stop. Look at little bunny rabbit. There's, he has so much fur. I'm going to kind of erase that here. It's kind of blend out. The, the back blends into the top there. Isn't that cool? All right, now we got to draw the Easter Bunny. So there's Loppy Bunny. Okay, he's wiggling his nose. Oh, little shadow under his nose. All right, so now let's draw. Okay, here's their lop, right? And there's the. Now let's draw the Easter Bunny. Want to draw the Easter Bunny? Yes or no? What do you think? Oh, we'll draw the carrot too. Okay, we got. We'll draw the whole scene. We'll have the Easter Bunny and the lop Bunny having a, a wrestling match over the carrot. It's the it's the United Federation of Rabbit Wrestlers. <laughs> oh, I entertained myself. Ah ha! Mom, the the dinosaurs in the picture again. Robot, robot. We want more robots. We want more. You kids are so smart. You so smart. All right, now this bunny, this bunny was. Is going to be uh, angled. This one's angled down in direction southeast. So let's draw this bunny angled down in direction southwest. Okay. So let's angle this down to southwest. And so we're we'll blocking the bunnies here. Blocking the. Uh, I'm not going to have any room for the carrot. Yeah, I'll put the carrot down here. We'll change the carrot. So let's, let's draw the bunny's body, kind of blocking them here. Here's his, his feet are going to come down here. Walk it in. His legs will be lined up. And then on this one, I'm going to put his head kind of looking up at this bunny over here. So I'm going to kind of shape his nose. He's going to be a... That will be a shadow line. See, that's where we're a guideline for the shadow. So I want to pick up his nose just a little bit. Okay, so sketching that. All right, you with me? And you got the body. Okay, thumbs up. You with me? All right, we're blocking in the Easter bunny. Now, this is his front feet. I'm going to, maybe I'll shorten this a little bit. Maybe it'll be a shorter line because I'm going to draw these two cute little short legs here. Look at his front paw. I'm going to do this little front paw kind of, like all furry. Look at <laughs> Oh, it cracks me up. Now back, now, back here, look at, you can see this paw. You can just barely see it back here, see? Little peekaboo paw. See? And then here's his here's that giant back leg. And then here's his paw. See There's one, two, has three toes. Now it lines up, see how it's lined up and I'm gonna make it this his tail a little higher. This little poofy tail up there. Now where are we going to put his ear? The robot's in the way for the ear. Where are we going to put the ear? Do you, know, do you have room for his ear? Now, I'm going to have to put his ear, look at, I'm going to have to have one ear kind of down over in this area. Look at this. I'm going to have to do, do an ear down here and then this ear is going to be loop, looping over in the distance. Okay. So maybe I'll have this ear going up. Are you allergic to rabbit ears? So there's his ear. 
And I, you know what you can do if you want, do a little wrinkle right here. Yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. You can take this ear and do a wrinkle. See that wrinkle? And then put that ear in the shadow back behind there. Then his eyes, draw the bunny this side, this eye, this eyes. It's larger and smaller. The near one's larger. Pop goes the drawing. So it looks like the robot is uh, behind the bunny, and this the maybe the robot is the referee in the wrestling match. Okay, <laughs> the referee. Yeah, yeah, touchdown! And they're playing uh, carrot ball. Yeah, instead of football. Okay, here, let's put the rabbit's nose. Bunny rabbit. Bunny. Pop goes the picture. Bunny rabbit. Now, uh, now we got to put the texture. Let me darken in the nose. And I want to just blend. I want to. Let's get rid of these lines here. Let's see over there. Let's clean this up. Clean up his face. Lots of uh, sketchy lines to clean up. That's why I like having a quick eraser. Then we use our handy brush. And now we got to put texture. I'm going to do just a little more clean up around here. See what now what I can do is I put the texture, see? Are you guys with me? Give me a thumbs up real quick. Or down. Thumbs up or down. Let me just see. Okay. Oh, no. I got three thumbs down. No. 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 Oh. Honey, honey. Don't call me honey. I didn't get the right. Call me peanut butter. But never honey. Okay, put the texture. Let's zoom in on this guy here. Now, here's the helix of the ear. See the helix? Then here's the bunnies. That's the concha. Just like you. You have a helix and concha, too. And then darken it underneath there. Pop goes the drawing. You Fort Wayne, Indiana Museum of Art artist. Someone say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone say, awesome. Look at Look what you're creating. You're just out of blank paper and suddenly you have this awesome... Little bunny rabbit guy. Here's shade. Shade, shade, shade. Shade. Pop goes the picture. Boy, that was enthusiastic. Pop goes the picture. Why does he keep doing that? I'm trying to draw. What? Okay. Bob goes the picture. Here, put that shadow. I love that other shadow. And then let's draw the little paws lined up. We're using that drawing direction compass. Say the drawing direction compass. I'm going to put shadows in between the toes. And I'll put a little contrast on the ground back here. And then let's Draw the texture, the, the bunny's butt. And then the bunny's little poofy tail. Kind of shaking his tail. I'm going to put some more texture on his leg. And then put some shadow. Look at this. A little tone under here. Then take your finger and just get that bunny. It's like a, just kind of tone in the bunny here. You, you could use your stompy too. Your stompy is great for blending underneath here. But sometimes you can get a whole smooth area just with your finger. And then take your stompy and really get a nice area here. See? Oh, I love it, guys. I love it, love it, love it, bunny. Look. Oh, we got to put the whiskers. Got to put the whiskers. Put some whiskers. And he's shaking his nose. He's wiggling his nose. Now we got to draw the carrot that these guys are having a big, big, uh, they, they both smell it. 
And I only have room. I gotta find room. I should put the carrot right in the middle. Should I put it right here in the middle? Yeah. Let's put it right. I was gonna put it over here where he had more room. Maybe I'll put two carrots. Let's, let's put two. I'll put one this direction, and I'll put one in this direction. No, 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 no. I had more room this way. Well, uh, do I have room? I'm gonna put this direction. I'm gonna reverse it because I have more room. I'll put it in this direction. All right. So let's draw the let's draw the carrot. That's lined up. Curve the end. There's one carrot. <coughs> I'm going to put another carrot. You know what? Should we put a whole bunch of carrots? Should we put one carrot leaning? Here, let's put one carrot leaning right here. Let's put it another carrot. This carrot right here, look at it. It's leaning up on this other carrot. This carrot's up. And so look at the shadow. Is gonna, the shadow is going to hit the carrot and go around. So then put the contours. Curve the contour lines. Curve, curve, make these lines very curving, contour, curve even more than you think you have to, and then I'll detail it and put the lumps for the carrot, <coughs> so this carrot, and then there's the, all the carrot, the, you know, the, the green stuff, right, the leaves, and it hits this carrot. And this carrot's going up into the opposite. This 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 shadow right here, look at this shadow's in direction north. What? Anybody remember? The shadow's going in northwest, and this carrot's going in direction northeast. So put a shadow down here. And this shadow follows it up here, see? See how it hits that carrot and goes up? So this guy's smelling the carrot. Oh, that smells good. Sniffing a carrot. Yum, 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 yum. And so this carrot, you barely see it over here, and then I'm going to make some room for the all the green leaves. Hits the ground. And you can put a shadow under the green leaves. Cool. Stompy time. Now, look at I'll, I'll take my stomping, I'll do each section. Cool. Well, there you go, you guys. There's your lesson. Nice job. You did your, you did your, hey, there's my daughter calling. Hello, daughter. Um, there's your uh, yellow pencil club. You guys want to say hi to my daughter? Okay, here. Sure. Say, say hi, daughter. Hey, I'll call you in 10 minutes, okay? Okay, well, hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> thanks everybody for coming online and I'll see you guys next in the next half hour you guys did great good job good job we'll stop recording